Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I wanted to come on and do a video. I haven't done a video in a few days. Um, I've just been tired and busy from work and everything, but I digress onto happier things. Um, this is kind of a design team project and a little reminder for you guys. My birthday, um, my little birthday event, because that was crazy, um, is still going on. And the way you can participate is by, um making a video response and it is um sponsored by tracy it's tracy's store which is art com. you guys and i'll leave the links in the description of course and um she's basically sponsored what i did was i picked a bunch of stuff along with some stamps and this paper collection i am from simple stories which she does have in the store she also has obviously as always i'm prepared she does have some of the lemon craft that um that uh, people were asking about she does have some of that back in the stock the um, Prima, the Graphic 45, all of those, and they come in kits. Um, also, some of the newer um, collections, those are also available in the store. And like I said, all you have to do is just make a video response, and I will leave the information, all, I mean, the um, the links in the description as well. You guys just have to put the links for all of the people participating. These talented, super awesome ladies are kind enough to take the time to make projects, and I've seen them, and they're amazing. They're freaking amazing, okay? So, um, and I wanted to make one too. I haven't made a project in a few days, um, in a while. It's been crazy busy here, but, um, so yeah. So what I use is once again, I use this simple stories collection. I am because I totally love the, um, the blues and all the corals and stuff like that. I use some of the, um, bits and pieces, which the, the ladies got in their little kit. And I use this, um, stamp, um, Tracy has this in the store, and I also have the dies, but I didn't use the dies, and I'll show you why. Um, but if not, just go ahead and messenger and see if she can order that for you guys. But this is the um, Avery L. Bonjour collection. So let me show you. Oh, and I also used um, this die. This is the um, Bell and Pedestal die by Sizzix, and it was a little difficult, but I kind of finagled it. Um, and the reason I have this little scratch paper was to show you guys. I wanted the um the bell uh top part of it to be on the full side of the card but you know this is right here so what i did is i cut the panel a three and a half wide so three and a half wide will fit perfectly over this and then you don't have to worry about the the, the stand being part of it so let me show you what i made i made a set of cards and i'm trying to get it in my head if i make a card to just make several of the same one or similar using the same collection because i've found myself so many times without cards and if you notice some of my cards don't have sentiments um and that's because that way i can use them for whatever i need to use them so let me show you what i made and these cards are five by six and they are shaker cards so um i use the collection here let me show you how <laughs> dimensional these things are okay they're super dimensional and of course i used foam to pop them up i don't have um the 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 foam tape but every time i've used it it always comes up it always like pops up because since it's on a roll it always seems to pop up it doesn't ever really full-on stick so i just use the uh the foam the fun foam and um which you can get at any craft store so let me start with this one i guess as you can see, I used on the little stamps, it has the big macaroon, it has the little macaroon. So I used a little macaroon this time, and I made several of them. And here's the reason why I didn't use the dye, because I didn't want it to have that border, because I'm not coloring them in. I didn't want it to have that border um, of the same paper when I just wanted to show the actual macaroon. So as you can see, they are all done. This is the smaller one, and I did use the bigger one. for The smaller ones are in the shakers, and the bigger ones are on the side. Um... Now what I did use is, if I can find it, I did use one of these, what are these? Um, this is just one of the jelly pens, the white pens, for me to fill in the filling. See right there? So I used the white and then I went around it with the black marker once I cut them out. I had to fussy cut every single one of these, uh, <laughs> these macarons, okay? Just to show you guys how much I love them. But this one, this these are all the papers and this is the paper. I just used the cream cardstock and some black cardstock. And you see, this is the section where it was um, three and a half wide, so I can put it through the machine and then layer the pedestal on top of that. And this one, I just used some matte gold um, paper. So on this part, I'm thinking of it now. I should have made, maybe like put some tissue or something underneath there to make it look like a macaroon box. I just kind of wanted to accent that, like this is a separate little section. But I used the same paper along and a lot of foam. 
So, and this is one of the bits and pieces. Um, I made this look like it was tied around the top of the bell jar. And they, the others have one, like a little comment or something like that. So I can use these for any kind of occasion. Um, and, and so this one is just, I used to put some twine. I punched a little hole, put some twine, popped up on phone, and made it look like it was part, um, it was wrapped around the top of the bell jar. So here are the other macaroons. There's several of them and tons of sequins. The sequins I also got from these are a bunch of these sequins i put them in little baggies i also got from tracy shop she has little sets with the different shades it comes with like six different shades i think and like i just put several of them since these these colors um these collection this collection has like the corals and the pinks and stuff like that i got to put all of them in there and this one i think this was the last one i did so there's tons of macaroons in this all of them have them but i think i just got carried away on this some of them i did put the little macaroons on foam that really didn't work out for me because the space, I think it wasn't enough space. Let's see, like, all of these shake about. And I was just going to stack them and everything, make it look cute. But I liked the fact that they can move around. And they're basically, you basically get a different shake of card every time you're done playing with it. So this one has a coral paper background. You see that right there. Now this one, I, did, I do have these on a little bit of foam. But as you can see, they get stuck. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. But um, the rest of them still shake about because some of them aren't on foam. The pie wasn't the best thing to do. <laughs> I'm trying to um, shake them up and stuff. But anyway, always foam when that stuff goes awry on a video. But um, this is the paper again. And I, ha I used white and black foam depending on where I was putting them. And here are the bigger ones. And once again on this one I did use the jelly roll right there to fill in the white center. Because it's all the same paper and obviously you want it to look like a macaroon. Not like... A colored coffee bean you know um and this one says so thankful this could be just a thank you card a hello friend kind of card this one says enjoy the little things so they're very simple um super dimensional but you can use them for whatever you want this one is it has this black and white stripe and this one i use this paper for um the pedestal and it says so very blessed it could be a friend card or you know just a thank you card kind of situation or just a hello card you see look and there's also um the yellow ones which i used right here i just cut out several of them here i actually have extra ones i this one i cut in half i was going to do something with it totally didn't work out <laughs> see i do make mistakes or I do, I do experiment um it doesn't always work out but it's okay because you have fun and now i actually have i made extras on purpose oh that's from the die cut collection because i wanted to have um i wanted to make sure i had enough but i couldn't always use these on other projects who doesn't love beautiful macarons so um, so yeah, and I just use the, I use the darker colors for the bases and then I use the lighter colors for the macarons because I want them to look nice and light and everything. These were actually going to go to the side right here, but it looked like, I don't know, it just looked funny. So it didn't look like a macaron, it looked like a fun, a funky mouth. But, um, so yeah, so I have several of these now, uh, and I will actually put them with, um, the bits and pieces so I can use them again. I like to keep my paper collection stuff together. So that way I know because if I wanted to make something later on, I have it right there. As uh, normally I put them, if it's just a random paper, I will put them with my um, stamps or die in a little bag. Because that way I keep those together. But um, since these go with that collection, I wanted to keep those together. And hopefully that makes sense because I just ramble on. Um, so yeah, I was going to do donuts, but um, I have a donut idea for a different project and, and stuff. Um, which by the way, if you guys are looking for that... Um, donut embellishment um video it is in um and just just check the videos i think it's like donut embellishment or something like that but i wanted to make this one macaroon and i have this beautiful palette um of papers so i totally love it like i said i really need to make sure i stock up i make cards and i stock up on them to have them for when i need a card like for a birthday or whatever typically um i can just leave out a sentiment but i wanted to use these little sentiments i thought those were cute and um so you can see how much i mean there's just so many um i don't even know how many come in this collection but it's tons and i have no idea what to use with all of them because i have so many so yes so that is that is that um let me know what you guys think i totally like it i totally love it i'm um super excited um because i just really like them i love macarons like ugh, i'm super obsessed because i'm a fat kid and I've liked macarons for like the longest time, not just because they're in vogue. Um, so yes, but I love the fact, I was gonna stack them and look really nice and perfect, but I like the fact that they're, you know, in the shaker card. 
because I really wanted to make some more shaker cards, and I think they're fun. And they're fun. Don't worry, the confetti won't get out. I mean, the uh, the 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 sewing herpes won't get out. So anyway, but yes, yeah, so you guys check out the shop. Check out the videos of all of these amazing ladies. Thank you again. I absolutely love it. Um, just I just love this paper collection. I should. I'm probably gonna get more. So anyway, <laughs> all right, you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. And thanks for stopping by. Bye, everyone.